I say hold up I hop on the track and y'all know what I'm marking You hurting if you're still not certain That Ricky be your favorite person I'm earning respect to get it This tribe time better get with it Fit it with the best and so admitted That we the best that's why I spit it I did it I don't need no credit I'm ill I need a medic No fakeness that acts pathetic Be humble generous respect it It's embedded up in my body I'm clever Y'all should apply me My verses are usually modest Who could flow like a new Bugatti Whoa Welcome to the first broadcast of Tribe Time. I'm Zach Forney. And I'm Kara Hess. The liftoff was shown Friday during the pep rally. We were able to get a behind the scenes look of the intro of the video. I'm Matt Connor. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Is this nice your first time here? Is this your first time here? Matt? Yes. Yeah, it's kind of <laughs> weird. Our field reporters were also able to talk to the director herself, Mary Dennis. We got started as soon as we could, and it really turned out really, really well. I'm, I am pretty proud of how many people came out, especially on the second time, because the first time people were like, yeah, whatever. But the second time was the better shot, and we had a lot more people and a lot more involvement, and I really liked that a lot. Good job, Mary and Mrs. Holland's theater arts class. We loved the video. The Gamma Theater performed a collection of popular Poe literature at Waynesboro Area Senior High School. The actors and actresses performed different and unique plays by Poe. Take a look. But see, amid the mimic root, a crawling shape intrude, a blood red thing that writhes from out the scenic solitude. It writhes. It writhes with mortal pangs, the minds become its food, and seraphs sob with vermin fangs. Many students and teachers enjoy the Gamut Theater and the production. After the production, the theater arts students join the actors and actresses to ask them what it was like to perform in front of high schoolers. But, you know, you, you deal with, in a live theater production, when someone starts acting like a jerk, there's a connection between us and you guys. We're doing a thing together. We're, we're doing a thing where we're going to play an elaborate pretend game, which is going to require a lot of focus. And a lot of times, unless you've just got a really dedicated jerk, they're not going to do that much because they realize everybody around them is like, shut up, we're listening, we're listening. Thanks, Gamut Theater, for a wonderful performance. Come back next year. Not only has Washes had incredible theatrical performances, students have also been performing on the field. Let's hear what's happening in spring sports from Ben Weber. Hey, it's Ben Weber here with sports. Baseball, softball, and track and field have all started off this season on a winning note. They hope to continue this through the rest of the year. Let's check out some highlights. This year's varsity baseball team is sitting pretty atop of the Colonial Division with a 5-0 record in the division and a 6-3 record overall. On Tuesday night, the Indians picked up a division win against Gettysburg, defeating the Warriors 9-6. Next on the schedule is away at our rival Greencastle today. First pitch is at 4 o'clock. The 2013 Varsity Maidens have a division record of 2-2 two and, two and an overall record of 4-4. Four four. The Maidens dropped a tough one on Tuesday night, losing 5-4 against Gettysburg. The Maidens return to, act, return to action today, home, against Greencastle at 4 o'clock. This year's boys and girls track and field team are showing a lot of promise. Since the start of the season, they have amassed a 2-2 two two overall record and a 1-3 overall record, respectively. The next meet is against, Green Castle, is against the Greencastle Blue Devils at home, Tuesday, April 23rd. That's all for this week's highlights. Back to you, Zach and Kara. Thanks, Ben. Kirsten Hardsock recently attended the Franklin County Science Fair, where two of the projects won first place were their chemistry project, winning fourth from the American Chemical Society. Great job, Kirsten. Let's take a look at what's happening next week. The senior trip is this Saturday. Students need to report to school by 7.45 and the bus is leaving at 8. Envirothon will meet Tuesday in the library and Thursday in room 417 until April 30th. Attention Spanish students, the Costa Rica trip will be happening in June 2014. The trip meeting is on Tuesday, April 23rd at 6 o'clock p.m. in Mrs. Horsey's room 322. All interested in students and parents should attend this meeting. Are you interested in an early to college program at Penn State Mount Alto? Please come to the informational session on Thursday, April 25th during advisory. These details will help you decide if early to college is right for you. Stop down at the B-Level office to sign up and have your pass signed. Be an active part of WASH's own Operation Education. This is a drive to help students in Waynesboro and Harrisburg that are in need of basic school supplies. 
Many are even without pencils and crayons. You can help be a part of another's education by bringing in new pencils and crayon to the cafeteria from April 22nd to 30th, or simply donate money that will be used to purchase these supplies. Now take a look at what's happening in sports. Now here are Kyle and Jesse with this week's edition of Unsung Heroes. This week they will be featuring the custodial staff. Take it away, Jesse and Kyle. Hey, I'm Kyle Lawn, and this week on Unsung Heroes, we're going to go interview the janitors and see what they're up to. It's no secret that our janitors work really hard to keep our school clean and sanitary for us. Let's go check it out, Kyle. I'm Kyle, and I'm here with Janitor Bob of the high school. And uh, Janitor Bob, how long have you been working here? Uh, since 95. 95, and you're the head custodian, right? I am. Okay, and um, how many hours do you, what are your hours usually run here? Uh, well, for a head custodian, it could run 10 hours. <laughs> Should I talk or are you going to get him? You got him. <laughs> he's on me, he's on me, he's on me. <laughs> That's all for this week's Unsung Heroes of Washes. Join us next week when we interview Constante. Thank you for watching this week's Tribe Time. I'm Kara Hess. And I'm Zach Forney. Tune in next week.